all seen photography competitions, but have you ever seen 25 photographers competing in the desert for the title of legends? They had eight models, three horses, and one Ferrari, and only five minutes to create that legendary shot. This is the Pro Prince Invitational. I'm your host, Megan, and welcome to the finals. I stole Maria's cape just for this moment because, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to announce our top 12 photographers. And now, after hours of deliberation, these are our judges' five finalists. Rachel. Danny. Marta. Ivan. And Esther. Okay, judges, now the difficult part. Which two are going to be eliminated? <laughs> judges, have you made a decision? We have. And it's been a very difficult decision as everyone here are stars. All five photographers demonstrated great technical ability, as well as creativity and amazing storytelling. Unfortunately, the two photographers who will not be moving forward are... Marta. And Esther. Thank you for contributing to this competition. And now we'll move on to selecting the winners. At ProPrints, we're continuously looking for ways to improve and enable professional photographers to advance in their careers. We want to foster the industry to evolve and encourage professional photographers to achieve excellence. Yulia, why did you like Danny's image? Danny's image stands out. Um, although it's a composite, and I like how he incorporated the sky. It looks very natural. I like the mood of the image. Uh, technically, the image was implemented very well. I like the lighting. There is a rim light, the key light, and uh, the pose is very strong. Overall, I like the whole balance, the, all the elements, technical elements. I think they're very balanced, and I just love the image. Maria, why do you think that Ivan was selected as one of the top contenders? I think that this image just really stands out. Um, we talked so much, at least for me, about what was a legend, what made you a legendary photographer. There was so much time and effort taken into the planning and execution of the final portrait. From, you know, the storytelling is there, we know what the inspiration is, and the biggest impact for me, honestly, where I feel like your touch is in the fact that photography is a religion. It's a spiritual thing for some of us. Like we live and breathe photography. And that to me 
like, yeah, that's what that tells me. And Jose, why do you think that Rachel was selected as one of the finalists? Well, this is quite obvious, right? I mean, when, when I when I first saw the image, my eyes just, wow, right? It's, it's dramatic, it's, it, there's excellence in, in every point, right? The editing, the photos, the lighting, there's the details, right? You you can spend hours looking at them and there, there's a skull right here, momentum more, which is traditional for, for paintings. There's all kinds of things here that are absolutely stunning. This is everything that I was looking for when we started this competition. And to me, this photo is really what brought it all together. And now I think it's another hard part. We have to decide who came in first, who came in second, and who came in third. Well, time for a debate. What's at stake? All competitors will receive a 40 by 60 canvas wrap pro of the image of their choice. There will be nine total honorable mentions that will receive $250 in Pro Prints credits. Third place will be featured in Professional Photography Magazine and a $250 Pro Prints credit. Second place will receive a full page feature on Professional Photography Magazine and a $500 Pro Prints credit. And the grand prize, a billboard printed and displayed in the photographer's hometown a full page feature on Professional Photographer's Magazine, $1,000 in Pro Prints credits, and a full studio lighting setup provided by Kikoto. Homespun Hearts is selecting a winner to receive a handcrafted set of wings. And now, the winner selected by Home Sun Hearts, Danny Dong! So for me, honestly, I don't wanna just judge them based on the one photo. If we're looking at the set of photos, to me, Danny was the most consistent. All three images were strong, they were dramatic, and they all had stories. I agree, yes. Um, they were all consistent, that's what I like about it. That was, he got so many points because there was uh, that not a single image that could take points from the And he knocked another out apart when it came out to the technical, the okay. creativity. The lighting, but, but again, you can say that of all three of them now. Rachel, there's definitely this one I feel is the strongest one of her set, right? Right. But it's such a strong image. But are we judging it on one image or is our legendary photographer consistent throughout, can produce? I well, I believe all three of these ones are consistent, right? I mean, it's the competition. What about Ivan? Uh, he I also had two his, images and, and, and one so was completely different. Right. And we didn't agree that that image was the best image. Right. But the story of this image and the whole idea, the implementation is really amazing. This is the only image uh, that co completely looks completely out. different. And completely yeah. stood out from everyone else because everyone else was engaging with the models while he completely went outside of the box, which is the whole point of this competition. Like That's what makes you a legend. You're not doing what everyone else is doing. That's true, but I will argue that Rachel did just as much. I see her going in, in, in waking up four or five in the morning, going to the bus, here are the models, you don't know what you're ready, and you she already had the vision, right? The vision, like, this is what I'm gonna do. Because she's shooting to get this done. Right? So you think she envisioned that while well, she was shooting a yes. specific image because she positioned her arm. Because the way to position the arm so. and the thing, and then, and then, going back and spending a lot of time putting this together, right? Well, like, and then so. tell me why a lot more elements that we use, why she didn't incorporate some of the other elements that we use. Because we had animals, we had a, we had other props. Yeah. But she chose to bring in things that were not part of the environment. But let, let's, but I, my counter argument is that that could be the same, say the same thing about this one, right? Uh, obviously, the, I don't think that couple had a force in the, in the scenario, but yeah. let's say you're, you're, you're Rachel Owen and, and you're taking the photo and the horse was just not doing it, right? She made the decision, if this horse is not going to do it, I'm going to fix it from somehow, and this is how she fixed it. And the execution is absolutely amazing. So you're leaning towards I Rachel. I'm leaning. Rachel Owen is who I nominate as legend for this competition. Um, 
Danny's image, I think that's what he got almost straight in the camera, almost, because of the lighting and I think he created that mood straight in his camera and that's what fascinates me is that if you can achieve something beautiful straight in camera, that's what differentiates you from other photographers. So. It's oh, really God, hard. Is this gonna come down to me? <laughs> yes, Maria. Our third place is Ivan Duran. Maria, it's up to you to decide the winner of the competition, the legends of the first Invitational Pro Prince competition. Oh no. The winner <laughs> is... I think the winner is Rachel. Congratulations, Rachel Owen. You are the... Pro Prince Legend! Legend!